Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're back in round two of the water comparison series and we're gonna compare all five of these waters. So in round one, all five of these beat a different water and tonight I'm gonna taste all five and decide which one I think tastes the best. So I'm gonna move on to round three. So if you want like detailed information and facts and data about these waters and a pH test and everything, Go back to the round one reviews. Tonight it's just mainly a taste test. So first up is Heroic H2O water. This has 60 milligrams of caffeine. So it's like drinking a cup of coffee. Right now it's almost 11 o'clock, so I probably should not be drinking this, but here we go. It's pretty good. Kind of like a sweet taste to it, you know, my, very mild sweet taste to it, kind of like somebody put in a vitamin or something. Okay, next up is Costa Rica Rainforest Water. This water is by far the coolest bottle that I've ever reviewed. It's like solid aluminum, super strong metal. In round one, I tried to nail in a nail with this. I think I was pretty close. It didn't work out, but it, I was pretty close to nailing a nail with this bottle. I mean, this is just the coolest bottle. Uh, this has a 6.6 .6 pH level. This is pretty expensive though. It's $4.15, not counting the shipping cost. Like I would never buy this day to day because I, I could just not afford it really, but um, just a special occasion because I'm doing the review. No smell. It's really good. The cool thing about this is normally when I review waters out of metal containers, it has like a metallic taste to it. It's like super mild with this. There is a slight one, but it's a lot more mild than most other metal containers that I've drank water out of. The only thing I don't like about the bottle is that it's not clear, so you can't like see if there's impurities in the water. So let's just pour some in the cup. Looks pretty clear to me. Looks pretty crystal clear to me. Tastes pretty good too. All right, next up is these two, Andes Mountain Water and Found Water. These two are pretty similar. They get a similar shaped bottle. They both you know, curve up vertically. And these are both foreign waters. This one's from Turkey. This one is from the Andes Mountains in Chile. And in round one, I compared both of these to the sparkling version of them. I'm not a fan of sparkling waters, so both of these had an easy time getting it into this round. They both have like shiny metallic lids. Like these two have a lot in common and both very minimalistic design with white font and a clear bottle and Start off with the Andes Mountains water. Yeah, very minimalistic, cool lid. I think that this is a winner of the Fine Water Society Silver Award, I believe. Um, I, it may be for the sparkling version of this, I'm not sure. The sparkling version of this was actually really good. I'm not a fan of sparkling, but it was really good for this one. Yeah, it's a good water. No doubt about it. Alright, here's the found water from Turkey. The found water is $2.79. The Andes Mountains water is two dollars and twenty-nine cents. The Andes Mountains water has a pH level of seven. This one I don't remember what it has. This is good. Yeah, this one is such a small bottle. I think it's three hundred and fifty milliliters or something. Let's do some fun facts about Turkey, where this is from. In Turkey, they often put chicken in their desserts. For example, they have chicken pudding, which is often put in their desserts. Another turkey fun fact. Santa Claus, or Saint Nicholas, is from Turkey. Many believe he was 
originally from the North Pole, but no, he was originally from Turkey. Here's a cool turkey fun fact. It says that Turkey has 10,000 plants and 80,000 animal species, and it says on average they discover a new plant type. On average, every 10 days a new plant is discovered. That's pretty incredible. I didn't know that. It's probably like slight variations of the same plant, I would guess, but that's a neat fun fact about turkey. Yeah, these are both really good, really close. Next up is the Vitamin Water Zero Dragon Fruit. I was very hesitant to review this. At first, I just passed on this when I saw it in the grocery store. But over time, I've become a lot more lenient on waters that I'll review. And my, my main role now is just that if it has water in the title, I'll review it. And this is Vitamin Water. So that's how it made it. And it made it to round two because it was up against other Vitamin Waters. I, I really don't like reviewing this, though. Like, look... If I took the label off of this, and you didn't know it was vitamin water, if you saw this, would you think this is water? It doesn't look like water to me. If I saw this on a shelf like at a grocery store, I would not think, oh, that's, that's water. If I smelled it, it smells like Kool-Aid or fruit punch or something, I would not think water. So, the first one I'm going to eliminate is this, because it's the least watery water out of all of them. And I'm not going to give this a thumbs down. This is actually okay. Like, if this is what you're in the mood for, go ahead and drink this. I'm just saying, you know, out of these five, when, it's, when I'm reviewing a bunch of waters, this is the first to go, because it's the least like a water. The next I'm going to eliminate is the caffeine water, because like I said, it has like a fruity flavor to it, and um, like almost a vitamin flavor to it, and frankly, because of the caffeine. I don't think water should have caffeine in it, so I'm going to eliminate this one, down to these three. This is tough. Like, there's no clear winner out of these three. What it really comes down to is the differences in the material of the bottles. Metal, glass, plastic. It does feel like a waste to just throw this away whenever I'm done drinking this. Like, it's, it's almost $5 for this one just bottle of water. Um, the, the cost that I spent on these five waters, I could have bought, like, a nice dinner for myself. Instead, I, I bought water. <laughs> I'm going to eliminate this one now. Um, it's good. Nothing wrong with it at all. And I guess I guess a slight uh, glass taste, and maybe a slight dirt taste to it. Like maybe uh, it has a higher total dissolved solids or something. But this one is out. Let's remember these two. Okay, I'm gonna say that the winner. This is pretty tough. This is pretty tough. I'm gonna say the winner is the Andes Mountains water. And this is being decided on the taste of the water. If I was going on, you know, the bottle itself, I would go with this. I feel like a broken record. I keep repeating myself over and over again. But I think this is a cool bottle. It's a very cool bottle, but just with the metallic, a slight, slight, slight metallic taste. I think it's a slightly worse than this. So this is moving on to round three.